Hello everyone. It's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. And if you ready, like I'm ready to praise and worship Jesus' name right now, magnify his holy name right now, give him the glory right now, shout out his holy name, hallelujah, right now. If you ready to praise him right now, if you ready to glorify him, say thank you, Jesus. I'm ready to praise. I am ready to lift his name up high. Even if I have to do it by myself, I am ready to give Jesus the praise. I am ready to give him the glory. I am ready to give him the honor. I am ready to always magnify and shout out his holy name in the mighty name of Jesus because I serve an awesome and amazing and a loving God each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, I love you, Jesus. Jesus, I magnify your holy name in this place today, Jesus. Jesus, you're welcome in this house today, Jesus. Jesus, I glorify you, Jesus, because you're my everything, Jesus. Jesus, you are number one in my life. No matter what I go through, no matter what I face, you are number one in my life. And I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And today's text is coming from 1 Corinthians today. And we're going to be reading 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40. That's 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40. Now, I know a lot of y'all might not like, might not like, this message today, but some of y'all need to know it. It's time for you to clean up your house. Some of y'all are very messy in a lot of situations. Some of y'all expect Jesus to do something and give y'all something, but y'all didn't clean up your own house. Some of y'all so worried about being nosy in somebody else's situation, somebody else's life, and somebody else's house, when well, you need to clean your own house up. It's time to clean your house up today. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you're doing in our life today. Oh, Heavenly Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for our health and our strength. I just can't thank you enough that you bless us with another day of life, that you bless us with another day and opportunity for us to seek you, to praise you, to glorify you, and lift your name up high. Each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. I just can't thank you enough for the food that you put on our table, the clothes and shoes that you put on our back, the roof of our head. I just can't thank you enough for our energy that we need. I just can't thank you enough for our arms that we need. I just can't thank you enough for our eyes so we can see. I just can't thank you enough for our mouth so we can speak to you. I just can't thank you enough for our ears so we can hear the word of God from you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always going to praise you. That's why I'm always going to glorify you. That's why I'm always going to lift your name up high. Because I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify your name today, Jesus. We worship you today, Jesus. We give you the praise today right now, Jesus. We give you the glory right now, Jesus. We trust you, Jesus. And we believe, knowing that you're going to do what you say you're going to do for us. We trust you and we believe in you, knowing that you're going to do what you say you're going to do. And that's why I can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love me some Jesus. I'm in love with you so much, Jesus. I'm in love with you so much, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to 1 Corinthians 14, and we're going to read verse 40. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. But everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. But everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. That's what Paul is saying right here. He said everything should be done in a fitting in order the way. But some of y'all not fitting everything done in a fitting order the way. Some of y'all house is not in an order the way right now. But some of y'all have the nerve to ask Jesus for a brand new house. Some of y'all have the nerve to ask Jesus for a brand new house and the house that you have right now is not fitting at all and it's not in order at all. 
Some of y'all house right now are a mess right now. Some of y'all house right now, house right now is a pig star right now. But you have the audacity to ask Jesus to give you another one. You got to clean the first one up first. Go wash your dishes right now. Go fold the clothes up right now. Go rake your yard. Go rake your yard right now. Go wipe down your windows right now. Clean your house up right now. Make sure your house is in a fitting order way before you ask Jesus to bless you and ask, ask Jesus for another house. The house that he gave you right now is not in no fitting or order way right now. Some of y'all got stuff everywhere around y'all house right now. Clothes everywhere. Dishes everywhere. Some of y'all got food in your refrigerator and freezer been there for months. And you know you need to throw it away. Is that fitting? No, it's not. Is that in order? No, it's not. So how are you going to have the audacity to ask Jesus to bless you with another house? If Jesus would give you the other house right now, you do the new house the same way that you're doing the house right now. The same way. It won't be in, it won't be fitting or in order. It'd be in a pig style like the house you have right now. Clothes everywhere. Dishes everywhere. You can't find that. Come on, man. Y'all need to get y'all stuff together. It's time for y'all to clean your house up. It is time for you to clean your house up. You know who y'all. Some of y'all won't even clean your house up unless company coming. And that's a crying shame. Some of y'all will not even clean your house up unless you have company. Then when you have company, you're ready to have your company clean your house up. And while you sit down, watch them clean it up for you. You know who you are. I ain't talking about you. I'm just preaching about you. But you have the audacity. To ask Jesus, you want another house. You had you had the audacity to ask Jesus that you want a better house than the one you have right now. You want a mansion. What you gonna do if he did that mansion right now? Every last one of them bedrooms gonna be messy like the one you have right now. Even your bathroom, even your kitchen, even your laundry room, even your your outdoors, even your patio. Time for you to clean your house up. You know exactly who you are. It is time for you. To clean your house up. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all are talking about other people about their house when your house is out of order. Some of y'all is telling you that you need to leave your husband when your husband is doing you wrong. How you know how you gonna be in all somebody else's business in their house and their relationship when your relationship this is worse than theirs? It's time for you to clean your house up. You know who y'all. Oh, you need to leave him. He ain't no good. Look what he doing. He come in any time of the night. He come in, he only speak. But on the flip side, when somebody go in your house, your situation is worse than theirs. And it's time for you to clean your house up. Why y'all in their business? What's going on in their house? Why you, why you worrying about how, how her husband doing? When your husband doing two times worse or ten times worse than her husband is, than her boyfriend is. And some of y'all saying the same thing about, man, if I was you, man, I'd leave her alone, man. She just hanging out with her girlfriend. And the same time that you telling him about his girlfriend, his wife, and his house, your girlfriend and wife doing, doing you just as wrong. It's time for you to clean your house up. Quit worrying about what's going on in somebody else's house and, make the, and manage your own house. Your own house is, is not in fitting. Your own house is not in order. But you have the audacity to talk about somebody in their house and their relationship, what they're doing. When your house is messy. When your house is upside down. When you can't even manage your house. When your house is not in fitting right now. When your house is not in order right now. You don't know who running your house. You got somebody else running your house. But you have the audacity to stick your nose in somebody else's house. When your house is all upside down. When your house is all upside down, it's time for you to clean your house up today, my sisters. It's time for you to clean your house up today, my brothers. You know who you are. Some of y'all have the audacity to sit there and say, they can be my kids doing, jumping up and down, doing this and doing that when your kids is outside doing worse than what their kids are doing. At least their kids are already in the house jumping up, jumping up and down on the fence. Your kids, you don't know where they at. You don't know what they're doing. They all, they all outside doing all kind of dirt. And you don't even know it. But you don't want nobody to know. It's time for you to clean your own house and worry about your own children. Quit worrying about what somebody's doing with their kids and how their kids jump up down in their house when your kids are out there doing wrong. When, you're, when your kids are there getting in all kind of trouble, it's time for you to clean your house up. 
It's time for you to get your house in order. It's time for you to get your house in fitting order. It's time. So are you going to clean your house up? It's time for somebody right now to clean your house up. It's time. How do you expect Jesus to bless you with a new house and you can't clean the one you have right now? It is not going to happen. So you might always quit wasting your time because Jesus is not going to bless you with a new house if you can't clean the house that you have right now. It is not going to happen. Quit being quit being nosy and what's going on in somebody else's house when you need to get your own house in order. You need to get your own husband and boyfriend in order. You need to get your own wife or girlfriend in order. Quit worrying about somebody else doing their own house and their relationship. That's what Paul is saying. Said, but everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. Everything. That means your dishes should be done in a fitting and orderly way. That means your clothes should be done in a fitting way. In order way, that means your backyard should be done in a fitting and order way. That means you need to make you need to worry about your house. Don't worry about what somebody doing in their house. You need to worry about your house and let it be done in a fitting and order way. Quit being nosy. Quit gossiping for somebody doing their house. Get your house done. Get your house in order. Get your house in order first before you go talk about somebody's house. That's what you need to do. Get your house in order first before you get before you can talk about somebody else. And I know some of y'all know somebody just like that. Always make, always being nosy. Tell me they doing this, they doing that, they husband or girlfriend doing this. When they have this is messed up in yours. Do yourself a favor today. But everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. They mean your house or man mean control your house. Don't control somebody else's house what they're doing in their house. You need to control your house and clean your house up. If you want Jesus to bless you with that brand new house, if you want Jesus to give you that mansion, clean your house up. Let it be done in a fitting or the way. Just don't do it because you want, you want Jesus to do it for you. Do it because that's your house. That's what he bless you with. You got a lot of people out here in this world, my brother and sister don't even have a house. They'd be gladly to take over your house right now and clean it up spotless and won't have no problem with it. Won't have no problem with it. It's time for you to clean your house up right now. I'm not saying that. The word of God is saying it right here. First Corinthians 14, 40. Read it. Everything should be done. It ain't say some things. It ain't say a little bit of things. It say everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. I mean your house. I mean, how you manage your house, how you clean your house, how you how you direct your house, who you let in your house, and how your house should be respected. That's what it means that everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. Well, this message helpful towards somebody today. Do you receive it today? And if you receive it today, let's give him thanks right now. Let's give him praise right now. Let's give him glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is weathers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.